Hello everyone, it's me, Andrea. Uh, today I'm here with an art journal page and here you can see me printing sort of down, that's a mark making tool. Um, I put some uh, acrylic paint on and push it onto the page. It is actually something you can kill flies with, I don't know what you call them, um, without the handle of course, it has the shape of a fly. We call that actually Fliegenklatsche. That's quite a funny name, isn't it? So, um, it wasn't a perfect impression, so I had to go over it with acrylic paint. And I fill it up, or I colorize it with um, neos, with water-soluble neos. In this is the turquoise one. And go over it with water, of course. It's a bit... Oh, I don't, it's not a non gessoed page and I don't really like to work on non gessoed page with this water soluble medium, media, you know this, um, if it's um, Neos or if it's uh, this uh, Gelatos, whatever it is, I really prefer to work on gessoed page, makes life, makes life easier for me. And on top of that I use a blue Atsu blue, I think it is. I wanted to achieve a bit of a shading, didn't work well. But it's not that bad because at the end I will um, shade it when it's on the page anyway. So that's it. And oh, yeah, for the eyes, I'm using a black enamel that's very liquidy. But it's a bit like glossy accent in black, but more more liquid, and um, gives a nice shine and um, dimension a bit. So this is the actual journal page. I gesso it, and I have three of these uh, flies, sort of half half of them, um, from an old project or laying around that gave me the idea actually, and I will at the end only use one of them. That's why I made new ones, cut them out and trying to find out um, how I use the page, which angle, so I decided to do it in this way. And actually don't mind the cat on the bottom right, it will appear every now and again. I had an idea and wanted to use it, but um, halfway through I changed my idea or changed, yeah, changed my idea what I wanted to do. And um, that cat will disappear at some stage. So now I put some modeling paste down through this web cobweb stencil three times. I dry it in between a bit that I won't mess it up. And that's my favorite thing actually, the, the stencil from my favorite thing. And after I no, I'm I'm using another stencil on the bottom, and it is actually one I made myself with a wood burning tool, and I used it before. I told you that I like this pattern. I have this um, self adhesive border I got from Ildico that has had such a nice pattern, and uh, I put that onto the foil and made a stencil from that. So first layer I put down is a golden uh, acrylic um, dark violet. It's dark violet, yeah. I thin it down with water a bit and I won't let it sit too long because I want to remove it with baby wipes. And with golden you have to be careful with this um, fluids, the fluids um, especially. they. Uh, dry really really quickly and you won't be able to remove that it will be a lot of work so I only let it sit for a moment and use a baby wipe and on top of that the next layer is a turquoise that's Amsterdam acrylic turquoise and I let that sit a bit longer I think I even even um, dried it a bit and this is Amsterdam as well it is um, red violet or so I think so, yeah. I haven't got the paint in front of me at the moment. 
got it got the same treatment and uh, then the last bit is a red carmine or carmine you say uh, only on some spots and I remove it first with dry cloth and then with a baby wipe or not remove it completely of course not so that's it but I think at this point I wasn't I still wasn't sure about the cat and um, will still appear and I didn't give up on it yet so still trying out to find or uh, try, trying to find out what to do first of all I go with a brayer over the raised areas with acrylic paint it's pewter and then I outline it first um, using a nil point nil five it is so I will change that half through because it was too thin and I won't show you all of that don't worry about that only the start and then at the end for the shading I use the Stabilo Oil but without water I use a blending stump to blend it in a bit and I do that to all of it of course I won't show it all okay, yeah. so that's done then and at this point you can see I spread the flies out over the whole page and I gave up on the idea using the cat. I um, glue that down with dimensional tape and always double glue it with a bit of liquid glue as well and um, now I put down a bit of sh um, stamping. This is this archival plum. I wanted to keep it tone in tone. I didn't uh, I didn't want to have it so too dominant and on top of the flies I used the archival ink forget me not with the same stamp that this Tim Holtz uh, reflection script so and then I at some stage I thought you have this stamp set from Diane Reveille with this nice spider in it why not using it that's what I did when you won't see my hand you could see yeah if my head wouldn't be in the way you could see the stamping so and yeah um i wanted to use the phrase this carpe diem and i stamped it down with this um, letter stamp and at the end i i really tried to make it work but from to me it didn't work first um i cut them up like this etched them and tried to find the right plate but it didn't work it covered too much up and <laughs> I, but I didn't want it wanted to have it too small the, the letters so I cut it down a bit but it still didn't work and on top it didn't work and oh, I didn't really had an idea then I put some white highlights on but it didn't make it better <laughs> nope so um, what I do I go in and do all the shadings and all the whatever you do on the page um, to have time to think about what to do. Here I outline the, the spiders, they were really visible and uh, the impression or the stem impression wasn't very good and uh, use a posca and outline all three of them. Very simple design it is and when you see that closer you can see that's a bit a grit pattern on top of the spiders but I will um, use this white Posca and uh, put a lot of dots on it that make them pop even more on all three of them so that I still have time to think about what to do with the phrase and um, you will see me doing at the end um, using um, my relief paste in this tube you can use it for writing so but it took me a, a shade around the spiders here with the charcoal pen it took me quite a bit of trying and um, I left that in to show you that it's not all already in your mind you know you have to try a lot I have to try a lot everyone I think 
um, before you find the right thing. Sometimes it didn't work at, at all and I messed it completely up. So you see me here having the relief paste. Um, I use it or I write it down on acetate first because when the paste is down, that's done, then you can't move it. And I'm trying to find the right space and I think that's it. Yep, I was quite happy with that. And yeah, write it first into the air to make sure that I have enough space. And on the other side. So now um, I forgot to switch the camera on again. Look, I put that in Latin and here it is in German. It's in den Tag and on top it's in English size of the day. So sorry for that. I did bits and bobs to it, um, edged it with this dark violet. But you will see the pictures now and you can have a closer look. So guys, thanks a lot for watching and I hope I will see you with the next video. Bye bye.